Um, we're about to leave for LSU and we are trying on the double mask we have to wear on the bus. <laughs> Hour one of 15. <laughs> it's 3.30 a.m. Um, we just decided to switch bus drivers and this bus driver is refusing to drive the bus. So, <laughs> I don't really know how that one works. Sitting at a racetrack. I hope we get a new bus driver as soon as we get to Louisiana. We're currently 45 minutes away from my house. Oh. Looks like we might spend the night there. Because Let's go to <laughs> I'll drive the bus. Put rain behind the wheel. I'll drive. We've convinced him to take us. Lots and lots of cash. Bus stop arm circles at the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> We've officially made it to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Catch back up with you later. All right, so we're about to go leave and play Central Arkansas and LSU. As I walk through those doors, I'll come back, I'll update you, and hopefully with two dubs. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Duke wins, baby. We take down uh, number five. LSU, eight to four. Pilots are right now. Welcome to Chile, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Tonight on the SEC ESPN Network, as the Duke Blue Devils out of the ACC meet the LSU Tigers from the SEC. Not often do you have four frontline pitchers in the same roster. That's inside the foul line. Davis digging for two, Davis digging for three, and she will make it easily. A ringing triple into the right field corner by Deja Days. Far from that tonight. That's a good at bat by Tapia. She kept spoiling pitches. This ball is grabbed by the second baseman who comes to the plate with Whoa. it. Safe at the plate. I thought over Central Arkansas in the game which preceded that. This one. That ball had a lot of spin to it. Gilponen ditches it as she throws it to first base. Gilponen. This is well hit, deep to right field. It is dropped on the warning track by Briggs. Briggs tracked it down, down onto the warning track. So instead, rounded back to the circle. This is hit high and deep to left field. Stewart backs up near the wall, bobbles it, and it falls safely on the dirt out there. Dickens of a time trying to track that ball into their glove. That's belted out toward right center. Andrews dives and can't get it. It rolls to the warning track. A run scores. Here's the relay throw to third. Out at third base. That's ripped on a line in the left field. One run scores. Here comes another. And Duke leads 8-0. And Andrews on a half. And Sunset trying to find the winning pitch. And she gets Tidwell swinging. The last five Tigers go down after the home run by Doyle in the previous inning, three by strikeout. And Duke has a big win over LSU. Great team win. Peyton St. George came out there, chucked it, junked it, did everything she possibly could. Uh, DJ coming up with a big hit in the first. G with a great bats, uh, Rachel with great at bats, Jay with great at bats, all around great team win. Outfield crushed it. 
Um, it's just amazing. Play two tomorrow, it's 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. I'm exhausted. And we have a 6.30 breakfast. Let's go Duke! Let's go. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It is 6.30ish a.m. We've got two games today. One versus McNeese State. One versus Central Arkansas. Stay tuned. Let's go Duke. Two more wins for the Devils. Took down Central Arkansas and McNeese today. Shout out to the freshmen for coming in. A couple getting their first career hits. And Claire pitching a great uh, game. Tomorrow we play Kansas. Gotta get up early. Then we hit the road home. I'll see you when I see you, future rain. The boys are back in town. 5.30 a.m. Class at 8. <laughs> We're making it. Bye.